Hi everybody, this is Misty with A Unique Treasure and I am bringing to you a great little project I just did. I had a lot of fun doing this. A little stressed out in the beginning, but um, because I've not done grunge and to this extent before. But I love the way it turned out. I am in a swap with Tina Steinhaus, aka Van, uh, my friend. And um, I challenged myself to do grunge and I challenged her to do shabby chic because uh, grunge is more her thing and shabby chic is more mine. I don't really like claiming that. I just find that it's easier for me to do that. Um, anything that comes easier for me, I tend to enjoy more. Um, but this has been a great challenge. I was able to stretch myself. So let's just go ahead and get into this. Um, this video will be out after Tina tells me she receives this, so um, I hope that you enjoy. Um, as you see, what I've done on the front. Oh, by the way, this was Tina's idea to do the envelope. She has a video out. I'll link in the description of this video on how to do this tutorial to make the envelope journal using three envelopes. Okay, so um, there's several ways you could do this and you can see the white in here, but I chose to leave it that way because this is supposed to be this old and really abused and used and dirty looking kind of to me um, with little color. And um, so I didn't want this to look like brand new pristine condition. Um, and this will be, uh, I will take this, th these are the cheap dollar store um, paper clips that normally work well for me, but I want to curl it and they don't work so good for that. They have a plastic coating on the outside that starts coming up and it just doesn't look nice. By the way, my fingers are not dirty. They are very ink. Um, this is the best that I could do to get them cleaned up. This is really good. <laughs> they were black. Um, this mat is new and I love it. This is the Tim Holtz Tonic Studios mat. It is fantastic. I'm a messy crafter and this is perfect for me. Okay. So anyways, all right, without further ado, um, this, so that's the, the envelope. Again, her project will be on there. Just did the Tim Holtz stamp. First time I used it, when I took it up off of the stamp holder that I used, it ripped right in half. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that yet. Um, and let's go. And that's exactly what this says. This says, let's go. Use some of the new Tim Holtz. Um, I don't know if it's new. I think it's new because I usually check out the Tim Holtz section whenever I go to the store and I haven't seen this, but this is that fabric tape. I love it. If he comes out with more, if anybody comes out with more fabric tape that I, fabric tape that I find, I will definitely be using it. Um, that's how fantastic it is. And I don't have to use glue with it either. Um, another thing, I dyed this trim. I was having a hard time. Somebody that was kind of helping me, I said, hey, is this too much grunge? She said, for Tina, there's never too much grunge. So I'm not really sure where that falls at. So I'm hoping that this is a too much grunge for her or this is a new experience and she likes it. Um, so it kind of limited me to my um, ephemera because I was, I was having a hard time thinking outside the box. But this is a, an actual tuck. Um, I, I just sewed this in with this fabric. I um, just used some inks. All this was using inks on here and, you know, layers and drying and layers and things like that. So let me go ahead and flip this over. These came from my porch prints. These are grunge uh, little ephem ephemera pieces that you put together. It comes with the cutouts of the circles. And they also have the mini tags. These are a little big for this size, but I use them anyways because when the journal is set up on its side, it looks kind of cool for pictures. <laughs> and then I stamped them with, uh, I don't know if these are Tim Holtz or not, but I stamped them with, you know, more steampunky uh, stamps. And then this, uh, I got this stamp set from Tuesday morning. I can't remember who that is. Uh, they give you the actual, it's not a stamp set, it's a stencil. And they give you the negative and positive options to use in this one. It's pretty cool. They already have it in there for you. And then I just did some more ink work on these. I love this. This was a really bright, cheerful kind of birthday tag. And I just muted it down and made it funky with color. And um, this came, this paper was the paper that uh, is printed out from my porch prints. And I just inked it up real good. 
um, but it comes in a size like, you know, like um, a little bit bigger than four by six, not quite five by seven, I think. And uh, you're supposed to rip little pieces and stick them on the tags here. So what I had left over, I just went ahead and did this with it. Then I dyed um, or inked, used the same inks on this uh, and just put some black there and dyed this trim. And I wanted to hang things off here. I don't have a lot of things to hang off. So I'm leaving and I decided to not stress out over that and let her add her things to it since she's definitely into this genre of things. And I made this um, out of leather. My husband gave me a leather, just a big old piece of um, leather, just like this. And I just decided to take it and make a couple tags out of it. Sorry about the noise. I took over. I have so much stuff around me because I have been working on this and then I have a whole new set of things around me. Also on top of that, that I keep putting away the steampunk stuff to make some things because um, I'm getting ready to really buckle down and craft. Um, I love this page. This is Russ telling you it's very difficult to um, turn those. I like it. It's funky. It doesn't look like everybody else's. I still like it. If I want funky, I'll keep doing it with those, but I do want to get some regular paper clips that aren't the dollar store ones. And this is a, let me take this out. This is just something I, you know, she can write on if she wants to. Um, this can be used this way also as a tuck. And then this pocket, um, this was already cut out this piece and it had some coloring layering on it already. So I grunged it up and stuck it on here, but it's very narrow. So if she wanted to write something and fold it up in there, she can. I'm not sure. I did leave space for writing and decorating. Um, I love doing backgrounds. Backgrounds is my favorite ultimate thing to do. And painting, uh, even canvases, um, that kind of thing. I love this. Uh, some more, I, I decided to rip, um, so it's not so big um, on the side here, rip one of those things I made. And then I took some vintage trim, uh, some really cool trim, and just cut it up and to, so I can just add it as a hanging thing here. And then this paper clip was actually in a journal that was gifted to me and I love it and I'm going to find some like these because I just like different, you know, uh, different shapes. And this was just a, you know, a guest check. I folded over, inked, and she could put more ephemera in there. You know, this was a tag that was already blued and I grunged it up with uh, three different colors and put it in here. And I did, I'm really into anything, anywhere you see a really cool, just odd piece of tape. Usually that's because I soaked the paper so much and it ripped a little bit on the edge. So I just will tape anything that looks like, especially with this type of book, it's perfect. Now stamping is not supposed to be like perfect. Um, I didn't want it perfect. So when you see this, that's why. Um, but this also gave me idea to not use the chain and just use this in different spots. I haven't didn't do it in this book, but I love just this here. I thought it was really cool. And um, this has a lot of white background, but she can grunge it up if she wants. I just thought not everything needs to be dark. Uh, this is awkward and lopsided, and it's supposed to be. My stitching is not perfect either. That's not supposed to be because that's not what I wanted. I have some 1920s um, violin music paper. It breaks, like you can't fold it and actually use it, but it's just cool to have. And I took one of the titles that said The Damnation Of, and I can't remember um, the play this came from, the person's name, but I just thought I'm putting it in here. And I really didn't know what to put in here. I had um, been gifted this with this on the outside. I don't remember doing this, but it doesn't matter. Um, and I just decided to put it in here and I was just really reaching, trying to find some ephemera that would be okay in here. I'm not one just to layer up a bunch of ephemera to get rid of it. I wanted to do something, say something, go along with it. But, you know, it was just a little difficult for me. Hopefully I'll grow in this area. Of, I like with the grunge though. I didn't think I liked it. I, listen to me, liked it. <laughs> liked 
I didn't think I liked it. I didn't have allergies too. Um, and uh, until I did it. And the reason why I love it so much is because I, I like it. I, I get to work with inks. Um, so, and stencils and stamps and things like that. So, um, this, I love this paper. Of course, a lot of us know by now this is what came in Amazon packing for a time. I don't know if it is anymore or not. Just took one of those. I got tons of this kind of stuff and just took some of that and dyed it. And this is camel and just seemed like a good thing I came across it to put in there random and a lot of this tape is for reinforcing I'm I'm not the best at uh, it's not my favorite thing to do putting the sewing I I just really don't care for it so I am always worried that I'm not doing it good enough so I tape everything or try to and this I'll grunge a little bit more because it's too white for me and I love this paper though. Um, I love the way this color came out and this was a few layerings. It looks like maybe sometimes if people aren't into this kind of art, just the, uh, just threw it on there and that's not the case. This took a lot of time. The, actually the background took a lot of time in this panel. Here's more and it comes through. And I like that. So I left that there and I just added a little bit here. However, um, I took some die cuts and did this with it, wonder often. I didn't grunge this up as much as I thought I was going to, but I'm leaving it. I, if you'll notice the tags I have in here don't have this, I decided to keep this on here, but I wasn't real sure if it would ruin the look or not, but again, she can add what she wants. I've seen this done on video and many people's, you know, um, the hinge thing. So I decided to uh, put a hinge here and I sewed twice I sewed it in here and sewed it on here for more stability so I thought that was kind of neat um, this was something that was mine somebody had mailed me uh, like when I ordered something off of Etsy I'm gonna grab it I really meant to show you guys this because everybody should do things like this I think okay so this was uh, let's see. This was actually from Kelly Snow. I'm covering up her address in case that's not appropriate. Um, but this is from Kelly Snow for my birthday. And what was really cool, what she did was check this out. So she made her own envelope, which I thought was really cool. Well, what does that do? That gives me a, you know, a template. So I took that template and I, to the best of my ability, I made this first though let me tell you this here is a magazine um, a vintage magazine that has I don't know several old images in it. it's not one of those Victorian ones it's more boats and cars and things like that and so that went perfectly because she said that she's more into industrial um, Tina and so here it is another attempt at that whole thing of you know paper clip and this is not perfect it's off I can see it's way off here but it's okay I don't want nothing to be perfect in here and this is from that old vintage magazine which I thought was pretty awesome industrial I thought this would go good with that but this is a real ad um, a Plymouth this Plymouth here for four hundred and forty five dollars can you believe that isn't that cool so this is um, very old old I don't I I don't want to get up and go get the magazine and interrupt this video again, but um, this is a very, to get the date off it, but this is a very old magazine. And so I just thought it was really cool. And I put Mrs. Cog's, I cut out one of her sayings and it says, you can't wait for inspiration. You have to go after it with the club. That's me. <laughs> I, I really feel, especially with this one, I really feel like, um, and yes, I could have done this, but I wanted it to open to show the entire ad as much as I could get in there. So I just thought this was really cool. I, I like this. Isn't it funny how sometimes we make things that just uh, make us happy and other people might not get it, but it's okay. They don't have to, right? So put that here all right and then I finally because I bought so many of those Tuesday morning kits with all these little things in them I started using them here's explore I love this page it was so dark unless she has one of those 
white pens or something that you can write on dark. Not sure if she did or not. Um, this is also from the My Porch prints to tear off and make those little uh, tag things here that I showed you guys. comes with that. So I just used the rest of it, tore it up to make a belly band. And this I've had around for a while and I just gussed it up more and try to do something cool with this, but it's okay if it's not cool, it's just different. And um, that's that. And like I said, I had a lot of fun. It really taught me a lot. Um, I have a lot of steampunky stuff as far as Victorian steampunk, but not industrial. So that's that was my issue. So I grunged them up a bit. I wanted to figure out a way to like put like a little black smudge like and put a little wrench in his hand and all that. I got ideas, but I don't have the um, I haven't uh, real quick just an illness that kind of gives me a very short time frame to do things like I'm doing right now until like around two o'clock I will be done <laughs> so and it's fine I get I'm grateful for the time I have so I took a vintage um, this is actually a vintage uh, piece of fabric and cut it out there's several squares and I took my spray sprayed it and then dried it outside for overnight and then I took um, some satin that I had and this was all, um, these all had stamps on them and I sprayed them and the stamp shrunk to the middle, but I liked that. I thought that was cool. And then she can write under this and I sewed it in there. And this was just a scrap piece of paper I had from something else that I did in here. This is just a bag with some stuff. This is some of the Tim Holtz um, words. Uh, these things here that I used and then I've had these forever finally got to use one of them and I mean literally I've had these for like three years and then this bag is from the first thing I ever bought from anybody which was Lori Fuse Gold Girl on the Ridge this is one of her envelopes I put in here and then um, I used um, from that magazine my mom helped me out she shrunk down at one of the pages or part of the page and I put it in there and cut it off and then I was gifted by um, Penny Blakely a bunch of SNH green stamps, and I gifted her um, some of those. Um, this is from um, this is napkins. This I stamped a bunch of napkins to try for decoupaging, and it worked beautifully. You know that when we rip off napkins, uh, the backs, the whites, I've been saving them and using them for decoupaging, creating them myself on regular napkins. And then here, um, just another little, just grunged up some sorry silk, if that's sorry silk. I'm not sure, maybe fabric, that is fabric. And then I wanted to just, I just backed an index card and took a paper um, here. There you go, here's some more background work, some more background work. Some more background work. I just love it. I love, love, love it. And here's an index card that I just, you know, took some time to work on getting how I wanted it. You see there, there's that tape. That means I was getting a little rip there. And it could just be little and I exaggerated the, oh, there's the back. I put one of those stamps on the back of that one. Stencil and then background work. This is the back side of the envelope of the second envelope. It's one of those hard Tim Holtz cards, and I just that's a sticker from him too. And then um, I just crunch one of those out. Love this page. Kind of like bam, everything's dark, dark, dark. Now we're getting to the red, yellows, whatever. Um, this whole thing had to be reinforced. I know if not reinforced, it's because I stuck this on here. Okay, so here is something I just was like, what am I going to do? So I, I put this on here, and then I sewed. Um, a, this is a actual tab, like, that goes in a cap, you know, the cards, the index. It's not an index card. I can't remember. Um, Rolodex kind of looking thing. But you can't see. It's, so, it's such miniature where it dips down in here. I don't know. Maybe you can. 
anyways, like in person, the stamp is not as bright in the camera looking at my computer, man, I can really see it good. Anyway, so just uh, the rest of the camel definition um, page that was up here, I put in earlier, I took it, just threw it in the leftover ink and so that on there here is another tag did some sewing i was practicing um, some going back and forth over the same area i'm going to get some thicker thread i used to own a sewing machine store and i had all kinds of thread and when i walked away from it they want nothing to do with it now i need it back in my world so this is she dreamed beautiful dreams and i thought that was so cool and so anyways there's that there's that and next, uh, journey, just put some tape there, washi tape. And then um, I saw, gosh, I can't remember her name, Angel, I think her name is, Angel somebody. I've been watching her videos, new person I'm starting to watch. Um, and she did a flip out like this, and so I decided to try it. And I just got these little itty bitty um, clips. I thought those were cute and I'm using it in here because this will just come off, off. So this goes both ways. So you can go this way out, which is kind of awkward to me to write, or you can go this way and right across here. Okay. So that's that. And I just took a doily that I did do the Tim Holtz Vagabond and stuck it on there after I heavily covered it. this attention is okay going forward um here is just this and i just like really folded it i, I exaggerated the fold like this so that it would bend nicely there and then this also comes up as you want to write and here um this is actually i have the original I think I had the original. No, this is not it. Is this it? I have no. I have a book. This is not the book. This is something I think I got offline actually, and I don't remember where I got it offline. That was something I had that was original. Who knows? Anyways, um, stuck that in here. I didn't grunge up the inside of that. And then this was actually a really pretty piece of something. It's weird. The fabric's weird. I don't know. It was gifted to me, and uh, weird is good, but. Uh, it was like really bright and pink and pretty and then this is just from a paper pack this has several of these you know on one page the my words are not coming to me um measuring tape paper things and i just crunched it up and it looks cool i think and then here's some stencil work and up close i looks like i took black around it i should have Probably went in there and tried to do a little numbering every so often, but it's okay. And then this I made as a gift. This doesn't have to stay in here, but this is a just a it's a very long that leather that I did. And it's a gift and you can see it better and it has hangy things. So that's it. And I just wanted a record of this and share my version of grunge with y'all. And I hope that you enjoyed it. And thank you so much. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments and I will get back with you. Have a wonderful day. And Tina, I hope you love it.